All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I uh, just got a quick video for you today on how to take care of your diesel truck in the winter. So I moved up to Missouri, Northern Missouri, actually 20 minutes from Iowa uh, a couple years ago. And last year was like my full winter, first full winter here. And it was hard. I, I learned the hard way on how to uh, not keep your, or to keep your fuel from gelling and the plug in the block heater and everything and it really all helps so i'm gonna go over a few of those things today like fuel additives and exactly what the block heater does for you and how to take care of your truck in the winter if you still drive it in the winter or uh, you know i don't drive mine a lot unless the weather's really good especially with the salt on the roads but still um if you don't have like a garage to put it in this is gonna help you so Hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a like, subscribe for things to come in the future. I usually try to post videos every single Sunday, one a week with my work schedule. That's just what works out for me, especially with it being winter and trying to find content to do. So uh, enjoy. First thing that I wanna talk about is the block heater. So the block heater on a Cummins plugs into the front. I'll show you that in a minute. But when you turn the key on and your glow plug light comes on, it's going to be like right here in the middle of the little like squiggly pigtail looking thing. Uh, normally it's going to come on for a long time in the winter and your truck's going to be hard to start if it's really cold outside. I'm not talking about a 35 or 40 degree cold start like most people are talking about. I'm talking like zero degrees. So it's not that cold today. It's about 30. Uh, so it's not really a cold start, but I'm going to show you that I have it plugged in, uh, the block heater's on, so this light's hardly gonna come on at all and the truck's gonna start up. No hesitation, no problem, no nothing. See, it did, uh, sorry, it's, it, the little pigtail's usually over here, but it didn't even come on, I actually, I'll start this over. Didn't even come on. No problem, no hesitation. No, nothing. As always, we've got to take care of the wife too, so it's cold outside. She needs a little air in her tires. They've gotten a little low, and of course she's got a light on her dash that she told me about. All right, guys, now let's show you this block heater. It's gonna be hard to see where it goes into the block, but I have it plugged in right there, kind of run in an inconspicuous place on the bumper, as you can see. And then the line, I have it kind of temporarily placed right here and zip tied right here, as you can see. And the block heater itself is right there, that little shiny piece is where it goes into the block and then the cord runs out from there. So that helps a lot. And even it snowed the other day, my wife's car was covered in snow and my truck was clear, except the hood. The hood was clear because the block heater was obviously doing its job. The next thing I wanna show you is fuel additive. I keep mine back here in the handy dandy mega cab storage right next to my amp this is what i've used it's what i've been told by others to use you can find it at any of your automotive stores and this treats up to 320 gallons so when you hardly drive your truck in the winter this will last you one maybe two winters i got it last winter but it's not going to hurt your injectors for those like me that have aftermarket injectors or even stock ones they're expensive but you just pour this in your fuel and you want to pour it in before you get fuel um, and you can you know pour like this much or you can actually measure it out if you want to but if you do it before you put the fuel in then it'll make the putting the fuel in will mix it up rather than like have it just sit on top and uh, kind of go in itself but guys that's really all I have for you for the winter I mean like I don't drive it in the snow and the salt unless I need to I have to have four wheel drive or something. I mean, I have a little car that I drive around uh, and 
if I get it stuck in a ditch or something, I really don't care because it's just a little winter beater and I can pull it out with my truck or call a tow truck or whatever. But, you know, this is my baby and I want to take care of it and not have it all rusty until I can move back down south where I want to be, where I grew up. So uh, if you have any questions about winter stuff or any comments, things to add, I'm new to this too. So you can help me help you and uh, yeah, drop a comment down below. Please like this video, subscribe for more to come. I hope you all enjoyed it and have a blessed day. Thanks. Bye.